Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, we are going to discuss one real-time use case of DynamoDB stream. This use case is taken from the technical blog of the company Delivero and we are basically going to explore how Delivero is using DynamoDB stream for real-time data aggregation. So before going ahead with original architecture, we need to understand what is this company Delivero does and what is the business problem what they try to solve using DynamoDB stream, okay? So first, let's discuss little bit about the company Delivero. If you check the Wikipedia page for this company, you will see that Delivero is a British online food delivery company founded in the year 2013. That is, with respect to today, that is 2023, it has already crossed 10 years, okay? Right? And it was founded in London, England and currently it operates in France, Belgium, Ireland, apart from United Kingdom. These are the several countries where Delivero is doing online food ordering, food delivery business. Okay. So now let us try to understand what business problem Delivero tried to solve using DynamoDB stream. So in their app, they launched a feature in December 2021 and that is ability for their user to favorite a restaurant. Okay. Suppose for example, this is one restaurant, here on the top right corner, there will be a heart icon available in the app. If one user click on this particular heart icon, then it will be made as favorite for that particular user. And clicking it again, make the restaurant unfavorite for that user. Okay, so this is the new feature what they added, defining one restaurant is favorite or not for a particular user. Okay, and what they are doing basically in the back end, they are storing this data in a DynamoDB table. There are several reasons might be behind choosing DynamoDB as a database for these features backend system that is scalable and fully managed and it has default DTL feature etc etc multiple advantage of DynamoDB we are having. So Delivero have considered DynamoDB for this features backend and the overall simplified structure for this feature can be shown like this way. That is the table name is favorites and here primary key is restaurant ID, user ID. So suppose restaurant ID is this value and after that one hash is coming and post that this is user ID. So restaurant ID and user ID together is making unique key or partition key or primary key for the table. And here it is having some other attributes like what is the user ID. Anyway, user ID is available in the primary key also after the hash whatever is available that is nothing but user ID and created that. When the user made that particular restaurant favorite. This way, the rows will be inserted in DynamoDB backend table if some user makes some restaurant favorite. And if some user click on that particular heart icon again, that is, if they unfavorite that restaurant, then from the backend DynamoDB table, that particular row will be deleted. As simple as that. Now, this feature was launched, everything was fine. Now, business team wanted to implement another functionality. That is, once a restaurant comes up in the suggestion or in the app, if it gets displayed, along with other details, it should also show total how many users made that particular restaurant as favorite restaurant. That is, if you observe this particular screenshot, here for this particular restaurant, there are 232 users who made this restaurant favorite, okay? So, the overall aggregated favorite count that should be getting displayed in the app when user try to see any details for a particular restaurant. So obviously I hope you can easily understand that for this feature whatever backend table is stored from this table we need to apply some aggregation right and the aggregation how we can implement basically we need to get count of rows for which one restaurant ID have rows okay because if in this favorite DynamoDB table if some row is there that means that restaurant is made favorite right now to get total number of users who made one restaurant favorite to get that particular value we need to apply a group by obviously on restaurant ID right but the problem is DynamoDB does not support aggregate function select sum select group by this kind of relational databases operation will not work in case of this NoSQL DynamoDB system. So we need one solution to implement this kind of aggregation on top of this DynamoDB table. So to solve this particular issue and implement this particular feature, Delivero has used DynamoDB stream. How they have used, let us try to understand, okay? So this is their architecture. Here, some user is using maybe web app or Android app or iOS app and using the app, they are clicking on that heart icon to make a restaurant favorite, okay? And suppose that user ID is A. So, A has made one restaurant, suppose the restaurant ID is 1 and that E or C has made favorite, okay? So, I can write F for favorite. 
So that event will be flowing to the backend system, which is basically a Golang service running in ECS in AWS. So what this service will do, this will make an event in the favorite DynamoDB table. Okay. So here we are having our favorite DynamoDB table. That is nothing but this one. Here that row will be inserted that is suppose user name is A and the restaurant ID is 1 so it will act like this way 1 hash A created at timestamp will be coming and then user ID is A. So this row will indicate that for the restaurant 1 the user A on this particular timestamp has made the restaurant favorite for him or her. Okay right. So now the data is available in the DynamoDB table. From there what they are doing they are having another table okay. Suppose the table name is aggregate, aggregate favorite. There, what they have done, here they have kept restaurant ID and then count. Okay. So here they are storing the aggregated result. As soon as some user make a restaurant favorite using Golang service, first they are inserting that row in the favorite table. From there, a DynamoDB stream is flowing using which a lambda they are triggering and that lambda is going to the aggregate favorite DynamoDB table and there the lambda will check whether for the restaurant one is there any existing row available or not. Suppose initially there is no row available, what the lambda will do? Lambda will make a insert in this particular aggregate favorite table with restaurant ID as 1 and the count it will make 1 because for the first time this particular restaurant is made favorite for some user, okay? Suppose next time some other user B is there who has made the same restaurant favorite. The event will be flowing via this Golang service to this favorite DynamoDB table. There one row will be inserted and obviously using DynamoDB stream the lambda will also be triggered. Now lambda will check whether for the restaurant one is there any row in this table. It will find that okay one row is there which is having count one. So what it will do because another user made that particular restaurant favorite. It will update this particular count to two. So that way from this particular table we can easily understand that the restaurant with the unique ID 1 is having two users who made that restaurant favorite. Okay, right. Suppose now another customer is coming. He or she is making again that same restaurant favorite. What will happen? Again via same approach in the favorite table the row will be inserted. Using DynamoDB stream lambda will be triggered. Lambda will check in this aggregate favorite table. For the restaurant ID the count is 2. So it will basically remove this and it will update to 3 because another user made it favorite. Okay. Now after few days, suppose user B want to unfavorite the restaurant with ID 1. So what he or she will do? He or she will again place that heart icon. That way that particular restaurant will be made unfavorite for him or her. And that event will be flowing to DynamoDB. From DynamoDB that particular row will be deleted. Okay. So here one row can be uniquely identified by user ID and the restaurant ID. User ID restaurant ID is always unique combination for this favorite table. Right. So from that particular DynamoDB favorite table this particular row will be deleted because this user has made this particular restaurant unfavorite. Right. So again via DynamoDB stream lambda will be triggered and because this is a remove event what this lambda will do now it will check whether in aggregate favorite table for the restaurant ID 1 is there any row available or not. It will see there is a row available and which is having count 3. That means 3 users made this particular restaurant favorite. So because now one user has made unfavorite it will basically update this particular count. It will decrease by value 1 and it will make it 2. That way always in this aggregate favorite table for a restaurant ID we can easily get how many users have made that restaurant favorite. Okay right. So using this DynamoDB stream in asynchronous manner, they are capturing that information so that they can easily display in this particular restaurant details when an user is searching for it. And obviously it will be having a direct business impact. I hope you can easily understand because if one restaurant is having more number of favorite count, then obviously a new user will think that that restaurant might be preparing food very well manner, right? Apart from rating, this also can be a very good representative of the quality of food what the restaurant is serving, right? So that's how this DynamoDB stream is useful in this particular use case. So overall, I can say that this particular pattern is followed. Here we are having our main application. From there we are inserting or deleting in the favorite DynamoDB table. This is our first DynamoDB backend system. From there using DynamoDB stream we can trigger AWS Lambda and that Lambda can aggregate, filter or replicate the data in another DynamoDB table. And from there the application can read the aggregated result to display in the frontend system. So initially we started with the problem that DynamoDB don't have aggregate functionality. 
But using DynamoDB stream, now we understood how to implement this aggregate functionality, right? And that's what the Deliveroo is using. Now we will try to implement the same in practical manner. Okay, so here I will go to Notepad and I will explain what I am doing. First, what I will do, I will create a table with the name favorite restaurants. Okay, so this is basically the first DynamoDB table where whenever an user is making a particular restaurant favorite or unfavorite where all the events are coming and here in this particular DynamoDB table the primary key is basically restaurant ID and user ID combination and that is has separated okay right so I will quickly go to AWS management console and I will open DynamoDB in a new tab and I will create that particular table create table the table name I can give favorite restaurants for this particular table, the primary key or partition key is restaurant ID, user ID combination. So I can paste that. Okay. And let it be string data type, not a problem. And I will create this table. Okay. Now we need to create another table where the aggregated result, that is how many users made a restaurant favorite or unfavorite, that overall result will be stored. So that aggregated favorite table also I will be creating quickly. Okay. So here another DynamoDB table and here only restaurant ID will be there and count will be another column. Okay. So let it be string type, not a problem. And I'll create this table also. Okay. Cool. Now let the table get created. Till then I will explain the Lambda code. For this Lambda is doing, we are first inputting all the necessary modules. So here you can easily understand from Lambda in the aggregated table, we need to insert or update some activity we need to do. If some particular restaurant is made favorite for any user for the first time, so that time it will be a simple insert. But if suppose next time onwards some user is making the restaurant favorite or unfavorite, then it has to be updated in DynamoDB table, right? So for doing all this insert and update, we need Goto3. So that's why I am creating a DynamoDB table using Goto3 and this is our main Lambda function, which will be getting triggered from the DynamoDB stream. And DynamoDB stream will be configuring in the first DynamoDB table. That is in our case for the favorite restaurants where directly the data will be flowing. There we will enable stream. Okay. So let me enable stream quickly. Okay. Perfect. And now here what we are doing. We are iterating in the stream of records whatever is coming from DynamoDB stream. That can be insert or delete. Here there is no update scenario. Only insert or delete because only the user can make a restaurant favorite or unfavorite. Right. So from the first DynamoDB table, only insert kind of or delete kind of events will be coming. If the user is making the restaurant favorite, it will be an insert. And if the user is making the restaurant unfavorite, then it will be delete event from the first DynamoDB table, right? So here what we are doing, we are extracting the original data. And from there, we are extracting the restaurant ID. Now in the first DynamoDB table where all the events will be coming, that table name is basically favorite. Their restaurant ID, user ID combination is making the primary key, right? So to get the restaurant ID, we will split based on hash separator and then we will take the first value in that list. Okay. So if you see this particular structure, restaurant ID, user ID is there and restaurant ID, user ID is separated by hash. So that's why I am splitting based on hash and I am taking the first element that is basically the unique identifier for the restaurant. Okay. We are printing that. So now what we are doing, once we get the restaurant ID, we need to check in the aggregated favorite table that restaurant ID exists or not. Because if the restaurant ID does not exist, we need to make an insert. And if the restaurant ID exists, we need to update. Either reduce the counter by one or increase the counter by one, right? So here we are querying that. And if we are getting zero in the count for the response of the client dot query, that means it will indicate that restaurant never made favorite or unfavorite for some user earlier. This is the first time, right? So here we are printing the restaurant is becoming favorite for the first time. And we are putting an item with the restaurant ID and the favorite count another column and that column obviously we need to keep one. Okay. Else. So if it is first time then we are just simply inserting. Else if this particular response is having some count that means it is not the first time earlier also some user might have made that restaurant favorite or unfavorite. So that time what we are doing. We are extracting the previous aggregated count value. So how many favorite count is already available in that table? Now if the event is remove type, then we are reducing the previous count by one and we are getting new count value. Else that will be an insert type. That means some user has made that particular restaurant favorite. So we are increasing the previous count by one and that we are defining in the new count value. And then we are updating 
that particular item in the aggregated dynamic db table for that restaurant id okay for that restaurant id all we are doing the favorite count value we are updating if it is remove we are decreasing if it is insert then we are increasing okay right so this is the simple lambda i will just copy this lambda code once i will show you the demo you will understand in a better way so here i will go to lambda function and then here i will create the function here lambda deliver some name i have given and python execution environment i will choose 3.8 and i'll create the function so here the function got created i will just paste my code and i will deploy this okay so here the changes got deployed now we'll go to configuration i need to provide dynamodb access for this lambda because this lambda will basically make some insert update scan etc for the dynamodb tables okay so here i will add the permission and here i will look for dynamodb and i will provide dynamodb full access and policy got updated now we are good to add trigger okay so here if you see we are having two tables favorite restaurants and aggregated favorite from favorite restaurants the insert or delete events will be coming and that aggregation should be reflected in aggregated favorite table okay so here what i will do i will go to add trigger and source i can choose dynamo db okay and then here i can choose the favorite restaurant table batch size i am keeping one because this is just a demo batch window one second and retry attempt i am keeping as zero okay and without any other changes i will add this right so here our dynamodb trigger got added now let's open these two tables in new tabs so here as of now the favorite restaurant table if i click on explore table items here it is empty same for aggregated result also it will show it is empty okay both are empty now we will try to insert some data in the favorite restaurant table okay so it will work like this way suppose one user is making a restaurant favorite so that time the golang service will insert the record in dynamodb right so i am not creating any golang service rather i will insert the data manually in the favorite restaurant table okay so here we are doing insert into favorite restaurants here restaurant id user id unique combination we are passing restaurant id is a user id is 1 and created at okay so i will make this insert i'll run this code right so here the command got executed successfully let's go to the favorite restaurant table and let's refresh here it is showing okay so restaurant id user id restaurant id is a user id is 1 they are combined together with hash separator and created at this time now in the aggregated table what it should be showing it should display that for the restaurant a there is one favorite count okay so i'll go to aggregated favorite table and i will refresh this and here till now it is showing nothing let's see whether some issue happened or not we can always go to monitor section and we can check the logs in cloudwatch so here it is saying lambda itself is not triggered okay fine so let me check i will go to favorite restaurant table and then here export and stream i will look for so here it is showing no records processed okay so maybe for the first time it has not triggered that particular one or it, it might be taking some time but actually here we can see that the row got inserted right so let's insert one more row for this restaurant b the user 4 has made favorite suppose okay so here it is inserted now let's refresh here again it got inserted fine so here let's refresh now so here you can easily see that for the restaurant b the favorite count is 1 okay that means what that means this restaurant is made favorite by one user okay for the first event might be something happened that's why it is not displayed but anyway i hope you are getting it the actual point now suppose another user 3 is making that same restaurant b as favorite okay so i will just run it okay it ran successfully so here if i refresh our original favorite table here restaurant id user id unique combination got added now for the restaurant b there are two favorite users right so let's go to aggregated table and let's see if i refresh here the favorite count got increased to 2 okay right now suppose 
another user with user id 2 okay making the restaurant favorite so let's refresh and if i go to favorite table here you can see that robot inserted that is user id 2 has made the restaurant b favorite so that should be reflected in the aggregated table also if i refresh here see favorite count increased to 3 okay now suppose there is one user and that user is 3 okay who has made the restaurant b favorite now he made that unfavorite okay so what will happen that time the golan service will delete that particular record from the favorite restaurants table so i will just execute a delete query okay delete query got executed so here from this particular favorite dynamo db table here this particular row should be deleted because user 3 has made the restaurant be unfavorite okay if i refresh here you will see that that particular row got deleted now here in the aggregated result earlier for the restaurant b the favorite count it was showing 3 right but currently there are only two users who made the restaurant favorite so let's see whether this count got decreased or not so if i refresh here see the count got decreased to 2 like that it is working for example i can make three new insert so here the user id 3 has made the restaurant c favorite here the user 4 has made the restaurant e favorite and here the user id 8 has made the restaurant a favorite okay so if i go and refresh our favorite table here you can see e f and c new rows are added if i go to aggregated table here if i refresh here you can see for the c restaurant there is one favorite for the f there is one favorite for the e there is one favorite okay right and now suppose for the f restaurant another user with id 9 has made favorite if i just run it okay so here you will see if i refresh the favorite table here f9 got added and here earlier for the restaurant id f there was only one favorite user but now if i refresh it got increased to two okay let me show you one last delete case for example here i can take this particular delete query only so suppose earlier the user id 9 has made this particular restaurant f favorite but now he or she is making unfavorite okay so unfavorite done now here you can see row is there it should be deleted if i refresh see it got deleted and here for the f the favorite count was 2 but because one user went away now it decreased to 1 like that this way the dynamodb stream in real time is basically reflecting aggregated result in a separate dynamodb table okay so although we cannot directly apply aggregation on the favorite restaurant dynamodb table but using dynamodb stream in a another dynamo db table we can basically implement the aggregation using a simple lambda function and dynamo db trigger i hope you got the point this is all for my this video the code i will be providing in the description box or in the comment section along with that i will be sharing the link where delivero has explained how they have used this dynamo db stream feature for this particular feature implementation where one user can see for a restaurant how many total favorite users are there right just go through that technical block you will understand something more out of it okay so if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you haven't subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you for watching